Welcome everyone to the King of the Palace, presented by New Palace Lanes in Fitchburg, Mass. Sponsored by North End Mazda Subaru in Lunenburg, Mass. Welcome to King of the Palace. I'm Dennis Nuzzo, standing with this week's bowlers. To my left, after last week dethroning the Kings of the Palace, the team of uh, Leach and Sullivan. Welcome back, guys. Thank Thanks you. Thank you. And to my right, the newcomers with a roll-up score of 665, Joe Simino and Eric Sargent. Hope I pronounce your names right, guys. Welcome oh, to the yes, show. Great, thank you. How are we doing, bud? Uh, what are your thoughts on the show, the tag team belts, everything in general? Very, very interesting. Very interesting. Uh, they look nice. You want them around your, you want them around your waist like everyone else? You, you sure you can feel it, sure. <laughs> Might be a jinx, though. No, no. I'm no? Used to it. All right. <laughs> what, anything from you? No, it's, just, it's, a, it's an exciting experience, so just having fun with it. Awesome. Well, good luck to you guys. And uh, former, former Kings, uh, returning, thank you, returning winners from last week, Leach and Sullivan, what are your thoughts about bowling these guys? Throw the balls and let the pins fall. You're pretty consistent with that, aren't you? It works. <laughs> Whatever works. Just coming back to get the titles. Yeah, they want them. Well, I'll see one team in the 11th box. Good luck to both of you. Little weak with the first ball delivery, only dropping three. Yeah. I, I don't know who this one is. I don't know which one's which. <laughs> Fortunately. Oh. Okay. Oh, nice shot. Nice shot. Yeah, spear. Yeah. Spear to open up. What's the uh, handicap? Um, I had it a second ago and I lost it. Uh, seven. 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 Okay, Nick Leach up. Fire on lane four. Oh, oh look at nice. this. Look, look at this mess. Leaves the 510, better known as the Wolverine. Okay. Joe Simino in. Eric Sargent are making their King of the Palace debuts as the number three seed. Okay, Joe Simino. Joe Simino's highest average is a 98. He's been bowling for 35 years. His high singles are 162. His high trip is a 385. He bowls on the Thursday night men's league and a Sunday mixed league. Of course, we all know Nick Leach, former King of the Palace champion, also defeating now former champion McIntosh and Rio. Just made a beautiful, beautiful snow puffs. 10 bucks. The, the, the 189. Very, very difficult. Very difficult. Speaker. Okay, Nick Leach up on lane four. Oh, didn't want that. Well, here you go, David. One of your favorite shots. Oh, this is, 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 is my favorite yeah, shot. It is your favorite Either shot. side, left or right. My favorite shot. I thought the left side was more favorite. Than the right. Very, very difficult. Nick four. Leach, his highest average is a 110. He's been bowling for 10 plus years. His high single is a 164. His high trip is a 403. He bowls in the RFA Thursday Night Men's League. His favorite shot is a strike. His least favorite shot, not a strike. Oh. A little bit of, uh, could be a little bit of nerves coming out of uh, Simino. Yeah, first time on the show. Very well could be. His home alleys are Academy Lanes. He also bowls out of Park Place. He's been bowling for 35 years. His favorite shot is a strike. His least favorite shot is the gutter ball. I don't think anybody likes a gutter ball. No, that's for sure. Especially <laughs> on a mark. Okay, Nick Leach up. Well, we have a <coughs> break in the action, people, just to get you refreshed. The bowling lane is six feet long from the foul line to the head pin. Oh, oh off oh, to the left, oh, half push to the left. Oh. Joe, off to the right. Right. Both bullets to get well, struck. Well, get a little bit of a break. Yeah. He's got the spare shot a little bit easier on lane number three. And Nick Leach up. Oh, wow. Leach and Sullivan turned around and uh, qualified with a 650. Simino and Sargent qualified with a 665. Right Want to give a shout out to our sponsors, North End Mazda Subaru and Lundberg Mass. Visit buynorthend.com or visit them in person. See Marty Babino and his excellent sales staff on a new or pre-owned Mazda or Subaru. Also give a shout out, go to the, uh, YouTube, type in Watch Me Suck at Bowling and see our friend who's a strong supporter of the King of the Palace. George does parodies on candle pin, duck pin, elevator races, um, and of course, phony baloney, 10 pin bowling. Oh, Nick Leach, nice first ball. Found the pocket. Leaves just the four for a spare. Joe. 
Found the clock at least a seven. Ten. Oh, going. it took it out. Still Dennis, going. It, oh, look at this. One, two, three, four. What, six pieces of wood down there. And oh, Nick, oh, he's just missed. I want to give a shout out to everybody out there in YouTube land. Thank you for tuning in and watching. And believing in what we do, we can't do what we do without you. And of course, the 16 cities and towns where you're tuning in. If you guys want to sponsor the show in your neck of the woods, Dennis, tell them what they got to do. Just contact your local public access provider. Fill out a piece of paper, it doesn't cost you anything, and uh, tell them you want King of the Palace, they contact us, and that's it. You got to stream to your city or town. If you have any questions or comments, you can uh, dial them in on YouTube. Dennis will answer pretty much everything on YouTube. And if you want a more personal touch, email me on Facebook. I'm not that hard to find, I answer everybody. At the half, Leach and Sullivan are at 38. The newcomers, Seminole and Sargent, are at 61, working on a spare, which he just filled with three. Sullivan right on the head pit and look at this mess, Dennis. Nice pocket hit and leaves this. It's not too bad. He's got some helpful wood in there. Let's see what happens with it. Shoot yeah. the MK. Oh. Leaves the seven pin. Jesus. Why is that muffled? Talk. He just blew by that one. Went right through the hoop. Maybe it's me. Maybe it's me. <laughs> well, you still have that one bad ear. Well, yeah, true. Oh. Ten bucks. So I'm at 74. Dean, trying to clean this mess up. Takes oh, nine bucks. Right, takes the nine bucks. Fortunate. Okay. Shout out to our YouTube subscribers, Justin Lapanese. He's been on the show before. And Pacemaker Games. They actually watch George on uh, Watch Me Suck at Bowling. And George comments on their channel, which is Bowling Busters. Oh, found the head, but okay. Got a break. Leaves the 610. Two pin on the right side for a spare. Sullivan, oh, look at this. Head pin got nothing. Leaves the aces That's and twice eights. in a row. Oh, no disappointing. Oh, oh, wow, I thought he blew one. by that yeah, one. No, he caught a piece of wood. Yeah, he got side of wood and, 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 oh, almost, Dennis. He almost had it. Let's clean this up because they find themselves in a hole real quick. Okay, Eric Sargent up for the that's Dean Sullivan for 10 bucks. I mean, speaking of playing four, he's on the spear, right? Eric Sargent's highest average is a 105. He's been bowling for 23 years. No high single or high triple. Doesn't have it or doesn't know it? <laughs> Maybe both. Um, Look he this. bowls on uh, Wednesday night, Thursday night, and for the summer. And he bowls in the Sunday for winter, whatever that is. Sunday winter leads. Yeah, sure. <laughs> his favorite shot is a strike. His least favorite shot. Well, look at come this. He could steal it. Come could on. steal it. Oh. No. All right. So here's a here's one I've never seen before. I like new stuff. His least favorite shot, and I don't. I've never heard of this. The, the Toyota shot. The Toyota shot, and the one seven ten leave. I never heard of such a thing. Oh, I get. Who's this again, David? Eric Sargent. I've never heard of that. I gotta ask him out. The Toyota shot? Yeah, never no. heard of it. Me either. That's the first people you've heard me admit it. Get up in Poland and I have no me. idea. No idea what he's talking about. Shout out to Nick Lang watching from Exton, Pennsylvania. Hey, oh, thank you much, man, for tuning in and being a strong yeah. supporter of the show. So appreciate it. Uh, wide left and he gets a, a good break. break, leaves a 1 8. Piece of wood rolling around in between them. Sullivan, wide left. He's a full horseman right side. Dean usually cleans this up pretty well. We'll see if uh, he can split him. Eric, where are you going, Dennis? Straight on? You got to hit the head pin. Yeah. And I don't know if that backwards going to help out. Oh. It did. oh, he nailed it. I didn't like the angle of it, but it worked out well for him. Very so difficult shot. Dean just missed the head pin. Yeah, he needed the head pin. But speaking of the pins. I think Dean and Nick are a little off. Yeah. And speaking of pins, they. Uh, Dennis, David, we do know that the height of the pin is 15 oh. inches and three quarters. Six seasons. The width is two inches. Go away. Two and 15 <laughs> sixteenths wide. Please, somebody just shoot me. Next King of Power, someone needs to find Dave. <laughs> find Steve and handcuff him to a post oh. or something. He doesn't show up. Oh, I haven't given the weight of the pin. What's the weight of the pin? Oh. It's, it's two eight. That's absolutely correct. I know it is. Somebody put me, <laughs> back, in, somebody put me back in the fridge. What's the diameter of the cap? I don't know that. One and three quarters. I don't care to that. <laughs> you know, I'm going to tell you what. <laughs> five For five seasons, I've been trying to stop. 
Another snow plow. Oh, no. Yeah, it he did, takes it the fell, head He might want that to stay. Yeah. Now now look what he's left with. Then, yeah, so. you're going to have to spray and pray on this one. But we'll see what uh, Eric Sargent's oh, doing no, over here. Oh, no, back now. He's, he's left the Calyria. See if he can pick it up. Oh, oh that Deadwood hurt him. It deflected it too much. Then Still. Quickly, yeah. where do you think he's going, David? Right in the spray middle. Spray and pray it. Yep. Yeah. Oh, oh, there you go. go. Yep. One they needed that. That was their first mark of the string. One piece of wood into the other. I feel a little off, man. You usually have some fun. What's going on? Where's, where's Freshy? Freshy's usually yell, yelling and screaming. The oh, new, no, he's stuffing his face. The newcomers with a 121, and Dean is working uh, 85 plus a ball. So uh, Nick, and, Nick and Dean are going to be down quite a bit going into the second string here. Oh, the disappointing leaves. Fills it with six. And 91. So they're down 30 pins going into the second string. Nick and Leach. Nick and Nick Leach and Dean Sullivan. And Dennis, could we do tell the viewers the maximum weight of a bowling ball? Oh, please, 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 please. All right, last time I'll answer me. that. The maximum weight of a bowling ball can be 2.7 because the pin is 2.8, so it cannot match or exceed the weight of the pin, unlike 10 pin. Well, we don't got, who cares? I mean, I could give up. Well, just, but yeah, no, the ball weighs clarify. 40 pounds. What do I care? Don, I want to hear it again for the rest of the season. <laughs> Up on lane four. I, 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 well, got, I got nothing. Is uh, Joe Cinemo, Cimino. I'm telling you. <laughs> Nick Leach on three. I mean, like, Steve has these notes from like season one. And no, well, that's worth reviewing. I mean, lots of times. Well, well, this, this oh. is why Travis deleted you. Or no. muted. Travis Oh, really? Ten box. Joe Cinnamon. And a nine box for Nick Leach. Quick shout out to Jonathan Moseback. Hope I pronounced that right. Uh, he liked the comment of, that must have been Dave's. I sell propane and propane accessories, I'll tell you what. <laughs> One of our past episodes. Uh, Joe, Joe. Glenn McIntyre, thank you for watching, Glenn. Joe Cinnamon. Cin Cinnamon. Thank you. Tongue tied. Nice, nice delivery. Um, Leave it he's a project fight. manager when he's alone. He also enjoys sports and travel. Anything specific he wants to mention on the show? Are you ready for this? New Palace Lanes is the place to be. Where is the audience? Get down here. I like that. Exclamation point. Well, we got a, quite a bit of an audience today, and I'm th loving it. Th this is really weird, because usually, like, <laughs> oh, wow. when we have this kind of an audience, they're usually loud, but uh, I don't know what, it must be the it. cooking. Wait, wait oh. for a couple more beers to flow. We, we had somebody um, who, who uh, made some awesome, awesome, awesome pasta. I'm telling you what. Nine bucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nine bucks for Nick. I just got OEPD in my ear. I need some of that pasta. So do I, Travis. <laughs> I haven't had any yet either. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you. Okay, Joe, up and lane up. Gotta love the pasta. It's delicious. All right, let's see what we got here. Nice ball. Oh, nice ball nice leaves us. Four maybe, seven. Wow. Maybe. Is it enough? No. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna tell you what. Joe Simino is sporting the sporty Palace Lane shirt. Isn't that thing a thing of beauty or what? Yeah, Look at nice that. Yeah. Absolutely cannot go against that. They are vying. Oh, oh wow. wow. That's the second time he's been burned. Dennis, the one, the five pin spear. Bada, bada, bada. Oh. Bidi, bidi, bidi. Bidi, bidi. Talk about that. He got porked two boxes in a row. Yes, he did. He got porked. Porked. Both, going in, uh, going both, out. Both smoke shoulders. Pork and beans. You see my baseball. So box to box, <laughs> Leach and Sullivan <laughs> are down 39 pins. They really need to stop mocking right now. Uh -huh. Almost halfway through the match. They need to stop making it come back now. They were match number two already? Yeah, they're true too. Third, fourth box starting right now. Where have I been? Eating your pasta. Eating your pasta. Eating my pasta. He leaves the uh, MK left side. Ooh, haven't had an MK yet. Wow, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, that's that's actually quickly. the third one. You haven't been paying attention. Yeah. I don't even watch the show after we do it. <laughs> I watch Come enough on. of the both of us. Don't worry. I know you do. And you, and, I critique and I myself. That. Yep. I don't critique myself at all. Love me or hate me. Talk good about me. Talk bad about me. At least I'm nice, shot nice shot. Nice shot for Nick Leach. Nice shot. The seven and eight. Want to give a shout out to the next October 28th. It will be the 80% handicap. With a reigning title holder, will be defending his title. 
Charles Semino. Uh, Seminole. Seminole. Seminole, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. I apologize. Left. Nick off to the right. He leaves the one, two, and the nine with a piece of wood up against the two. Good fill, but he needs another one. They're falling way behind. Oh, that's oh, how I would have hit it. it. Oh! That's how I would have played it. Great bid on that. Inside. Leech Nick Leach. Just missed the head pin. Leaves the one nine for 10. Joe up to nail the six for 10. And he leaves 10. That puts them to 56 at the half. There's Pine to build on. And Nick. Oh, off. Wow, wow, way off. With an eight box, puts them at 52 for Dean, though, to build on. So uh, Nick and Dean are down 34 pins going into the second half of the string. Halfway through the match right now. I got to say this. Pasta. Absolutely. Travis, there's plenty of it, man. Don't worry about it. I'm, I'm having your half, too. <laughs> the newcomers don't seem to be showing any uh, jitters right now. No. no. They're taking it to the, uh, not the champs, but the ex-champs. Well, no, they just seem to be a little bit oh. off. Leaves the seven pin. Yeah, but they're taking advantage yeah. of the shots. That's that's where it yeah. becomes key. You leave the door open, man. Yeah. You're going to bust that open. That's right. Kick it down. Break it down like a shotgun. Yeah, we're leaving the one, three. Two very, very favorable spare leaves. Oh. oh. Wow. Dean Sullivan shaking his head. Never trust wood. No. Yep. You see it, play it. See the pin play it. Yep. He just missed oh, that. Oh, the finger of God. He just missed. Both bowlers missing Ooh. spins. I don't know how he does that, man. The inside out <laughs> curveball. He mastered it. It looked like it was going to be in the gutter, and then it just turned right in and took up the seven. Finger of God made by Eric. Pair of tens. Pair of tens. Who do we got, Dennis? 62 for Nick and Dean, and 66 for Joe and Eric. Overall deficit. Joe and Eric are up 34 pins right now. Dean Sultan's got to get the ball in the head. He's just going to it. Oh. He's going to make a couple of adjustments. Here's something I didn't know about Eric. This is why we have the bio for us. You ready for this one? I'm always ready. All right, here we go. As he drops nine. I, on the bio form, was anything specific you want to mention on the show? He says, my uncle was Mike Sargent, and Chris Sargent is his cousin. Oh, wow. Um, and Gary Carrington is a cousin. Wow, the wow. bowling Got family. Got bowling in the family. Yeah. There you go. Championship blood right there. Would like to keep it going. It's incentive. Anybody well, who's ever watched bowling knows any, any of those names right there. <laughs> yeah, Chris Sargent, man. Chris Sargent, Mike Sargent, Gary Carrington. The old days of the great bowling. You Carrington. know, there's nothing worse than a seagull. Than a what? A seagull. I've had the privilege to bowl against many of those guys. Oh, there's an except Esther. For, except for uh, Mike Sajji. They might never, uh, oh. never met. Unfortunately. Nice first ball delivered. There's a lull, but there's no squirrel. Now, where is the squirrel? Oh, 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 look at this. Wow. Drops wow. nine. What a break. Yeah, that should have been like a four, four drop. Drops nine. At least the eight. Yeah, he's going to make sure that oh. wood doesn't hinder him. Uh, I'm going to tell you what, they better step up to the plate or they're going to get eliminated pretty they're, quick by some newcomers. Dean and uh, Nick only have two marks so far. That was the fifth for the newcomers. So, yeah, they're, they're going to be in quite a hole going to the string. They're going to they're gonna start marking right now. But if anybody can turn it on, they can. They can. They have. They have done it. We've seen it. We you know, it's okay. been a long time, but the 22-second man is in the house. 22 seconds, man. Yeah. That's Jimmy Nesta. Yes, that's the right. The spinning he, pin. He's in the house. The spinning pin. He's the, ver he's the very first one to ever have his own little spot. Huh? Oh, he deserved it. Eric drops eight on the spear. Give a shout out to our sponsors, North End Mazda Subaru and Lundberg Mass. Visit buynorthend.com or visit them in person and see Marty Babbitt's excellent Oh, what sales a shot. Staff. Picks up the Cleary. For a new or pre-owned Mazda or Subaru, also dial in on YouTube. Watch me suck at bowling. See my friend George and our friend George, a strong supporter of the King of the Palace, and all his uh, videos that he does on parodies on candle pin, duck pin, uh, elevators, um, anything you can think of. He can do gaming and even that ten pin bowling. What about golf? You should try some oh. golf. Golf parody? Why not? Yeah. You do golf? Do golf, John? Oh, he does mini golf. Mini golf.
mini golf. Oh, you know what's okay. always giving me the hard time at mini golf? That damn clown. You're gonna die, clown. Exactly. The clown. Always gives me a hard time in mini golf. Dean drops six on the spare. <laughs> really needs to pick this up though. Down huge. Big shot here for Dean. Yeah. Big shot. Go on, gotta get the head. Oh, it's looking good. Oh, oh wow. wow. Up Didn't break for him. Oh boy. Disappointing. Okay, Eric Sajin up. Oh, nice pitch. Not enough juice on it to take the last pin, no. though. And a 10 box. Puts him at 108. 199 for two. And Eric with a 10 box. Puts him at 112. And they are at 233 for two. So 34 pin lead for the newcomers. 34. Over the, over the veterans. Oh, they got to start off. Wow. Being in some spears and strikes right If anybody can come back, it'd be Nick and. Team, they can be, if they start once one starts, they start feeding off each other. Very they need to start doing it right and, from, and they can uh, they can eliminate it. Yeah, they need to do it right from jump though. 34 pins is a lot in one string. Yeah, it can be done. It can be. It's not impossible. You know, one ball at a time, one box at a time. Well, here we go, people. String number three, box number one, Nick Leach, lane number four. A little extra time here, Dennis. A little extra time for bowler. Nick Leach. Wow. Oh, no, I'm not. Go ahead. Go lose it. Go lose it. You know what? I'm oh, actually, my goodness. You know what? Hang on. I'll be right back. I can't handle this. Oh, frustration. Right through the hole. All right. Dave went off on a tangent somewhere. I don't know what's going on with him, but uh, back to the action. Oh, oh what a great almost, bid. Almost. Great bid by Joe Semino. Nick really needs to clean this up. Very nice out. Oh, Great nice out on that. Nice draw. Great nice, out on that. Nice out. Nice out. Ten box. Quick shout out to uh, John Smith watching that Pew All Up Washington. He pronounced it on this. We uh, we pronounce it right. In Bowl 97. From it was just too quiet in this place. I'm sorry for the Middle it. Sackville, Nova Scotia. What happened now? Just YouTube. Uh, YouTube peeps. Yeah, I want to give a shout out to all of our friends on YouTube. Thank you for tuning in and supporting the King of the Palace. We cannot do what we do without you also. All the bowlers that came up for the tournament, man, you guys are the best. We had a huge turnout. Um, we had a lot of fun. Um, Great it's, kinda, it's really kind of quiet in here for a King of the Palace tournament, especially when Freshie's in the house. You know? Ooh, just missed him. Wow, they're just off of just that hair. Yeah, yeah. And it's costing him. Nine bucks. Nine bucks. They might be cooked. Yeah. Nice seeing you. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. Hopefully to see you again. All right, sweetheart. Thank you. All right. Two nine boxes. Okay, Nick Leach up on lane number three. Excuse me, lane number four. Three. Wow, well, off to the... He got a break. Oh, look at this. He got a big break. I believe it's a one-two. I don't think I've ever seen Dean and Nick give up. It almost looks like they're uh, over trying to overpress it. Something's going on. Yeah. Okay, shooting a two pin of spear and there you, oh, nice go. Shot. there you go. Nice shot. They need to build on to that. Yeah. Josemino. Semino. Semino. Oh, oh he made the game. That was, was an ace. It's an ace, right, David? He gave him a so what right in his face. Why don't you call him? Why don't you call him uh, Joe Simonin? Simonin. Simonin. Put a little sugar Simmons, in that cinnamon in there. I'll just call him Joe Sweet. I can't believe Nestor's here, man. It's been like forever. We'll let him out of the cave. The last time the last time he was here, he was just a spectator. And so tonight he shows up and he's in the front. He's, 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 he's like, the number one seed. No, you know what? Nestor. Oh, no, he wants one of these to go. Uh, Nestor. <laughs> I'm just saying. No, it, 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 Oh, nice oh, shot. Nice there was, shot. There was no hair. Ooh, nice He's hairless. Shot. He's like a hairless cat. Wow. Really? I'm going to start calling him Dr. Evil. Quasi-evil. Really? We're going to go into copyright infringement for that? Really? You have a Josh Lowell with freaking lasers on his head? Really? Lasers. Anyway, so we're just one big giant. 
a dysfunctional <laughs> family. We like to have fun. You gotta have fun. You have to each. You know? Up, wide right. Oh, he's he gets huge a huge break on that one. Well, you know, a lot of the, a lot, a lot of the times, a lot of people said, you know, why do you keep calling the action? And we can see what's going on and all that kind of crap. So, you know, liven it up a little bit. Have a little bit Absolutely. of comic relief. Like you said, this isn't your old Channel 5 grandfather's bowling, nope. man. We, 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 the ballot. Nice. we are roll. the originators. They got the turkey. Often imitated, never duplicated. They are doing battle for the one and only. That's a big word. He might have to sit down when he uses that one. I need a dictionary. Nine box. Levity. So at the half. Huh. Nick and Dean are at 63 working on a spare. Joe and Eric are at 63. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you. The last time I seen Levitivity <laughs> was, uh, uh, what's his face? Uh, um, David Copperfield when he levitated. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure people are gonna turn around and say, hey, levity is this. Da -da 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 -da. Nick and Dean are down 34, so they Dave, need to build on the spare. Let's watch bowling people. We can talk about cookies. I like cookies. Cookies are good. Cookie. Steve so, likes the fig noodle. That was made. That was created in Massachusetts. Yeah. yeah. Four, only a four fill on that. The fig Newton. They want to go for another mock. Here. They're still Eric down thirty going. pins, box to box. So they, they got a Shh, huge a calm in the crowd. It's Ooh, too quiet. Eric Sargent's. Where are you going with this? I'm gonna play the wood right the red line. Yeah. Oh, I just do just that. Just missed it. Four pieces of. Two, three pieces of wood, four pins in there. Oh, oh what a yeah. shot. nice pickup for Dino. They four got in a four row. in a row. That's a they star, went, baby. What's four in a row, Max? Oh, what a great 10 box. A nice 10 box. Four box in a row is right in now. A little show of respect between the bowls. A little knuckle, knuckle button. Both making great shots. Okay, Eric. Eric, I'm late number. Dean needs a hammer right now. Yeah, yeah he any chance of winning this, he needs a hammer. Huge fill. If anybody can do it, Dean can. He can. Let's see if he will. Oh, wow. The nine pin Solid drop. nine pin drop. The new guys aren't going to go quietly in the night, that's for sure. Come on, Dean. Come on. Oh, he hollered oh. for it. Well, good news, bad news situation. He dropped eight, which is the good news. Bad news, he leaves the six, seven with no help for wood. Going to be very. Oh, well, he's going to he's gonna have to hit that one piece of wood and hope for, hope for uh, some America. Oh, cap it. Eric, Eric wanted that. No, he might, he might try to cut it. Let's see what he does. They played the wood, and no, I would have done the same thing. Come on. Oh, no, he had to. Yeah. I don't know. I might have tried to cut it over, but I don't know. It depends how you're throwing that. Do you field, feel comfortable? Pin field for the badge. Five marks in a row, and came up and bowl on the badge. Yes. Pair of tens. So Dean and Nick at 95, Joe and Eric at 83. They gained 12 pins back, but they're still down 22 pins. 22 down with three to go. Obviously, they got a mark out. Well, yeah. Okay. Well, and you have to hope also yeah. that uh, Sergeant doesn't um, capitalize. Right. Exactly. But and Dean it, can feed off of what Sergeant throws. And with a last name like Sergeant, you know he's going to capitalize. It's in the blood. Wide left. Or you get a lot of lucky breaks. Like that. Lock skeletal all the same. Oh, the head again the oh, same okay, lead. Going down. Oh, there we go. Seven pin drop. That oh, that's some ugly wood down that there, boy. Huge break. The huge six break. That's some ugly wood. That's right, though. If you hits the piece that's on the lane, it's still it's still good. The third, third piece is good. The third piece. No, third. Yeah. Yep. This is a rules of candle pin bowling quickly, Dennis. On this shot, hmm? the rules on this. The, the it's on the lane, so it's still good. But he has to hit the one that's on the lane. No, that one's no good. Women. Uh, that one was in the gutter, right? Yeah, it was in the gutter. Yeah. It was in the gutter. Mm -hmm. Okay, here it comes. Oh, nice. Oh, oh, what that hammer. might do it. That sealed the deal right yeah, there. Yeah, that sealed it, yeah. Look at this cluster. I don't even think it would matter because we only had a three fill and uh, the, the down 22 box to box. So. Yeah, but no, that pin was definitely in the gutter. Yeah. You didn't even touch the other one. You didn't even touch the third one. Want to give a quick shout out to our sponsors, North End Mazda Super with Lindbergh Mass. Visit BuyNorthEnd.com. Also, visit YouTube and our good friend, George. 
in his parody on killing pin bowling, duck pin bowling, funny baloney bowling, and everything else you can find on his page. I uh, want to thank everybody out in YouTube land, um, local access TV. Cool. Got to definitely thank FATV for all their hard work oh, that yeah. they do. Very, um, very accommodating. Awesome, awesome crew here today. Oh. Yeah, this hammer. Got to thank got to thank the bowlers for coming out in droves. We can't do what we do without you. The next King of the Palace is October 28th. It's the 80% handicap champ. Uh, where that title will be on the line. Okay, Eric, last ball. Shooting for 10. Nail the wood into the pin. Gets it. Where did they get the Dennis? Uh, third string, 121 for a 354 total. And they they going to advance, right? Yep. Yep. The newcomers of Eric Sargent and Joe Simino defeat Nick Leach and Dean Sullivan, and will move on next week to face Dave Dorman and Nate Lees. Oh, just oh, missed. Wow. Yeah, they were just off this last match, Leach and Sullivan, off yep. that little bit, and it, it, it killed them. A Kaliri with a friend. Which we oh. call it a Kaliri with a Hallberg. <laughs> with the what? Hallberg. Oh. <laughs> Thank you very much, everyone, for watching the King of the Palace. Dennis, give us the rundown. Third string for Leach and Sullivan was uh, 130, put him in at 329 against Semino and Sargent, 354. So they were lost by 25 pins. Leach and Sullivan had seven spares and one strike. Semino and Sargent had six spares and one strike. So it was a, it was a pinning match, yeah. pretty much. Well, congratulations to Eric, Sargent, and Joe Semino. Now, let's get to the 11th box with the Nuz and meet the winners. Welcome to the 11th box. I'm Dennis Nuzzle standing here with this week's winners. After defeating the uh, returning ex champs of Leach and Sullivan, Simino and Sargent score of 354 to 329. Great bowling, guys. Uh, any jitters going in? He didn't seem to have any. Uh, a little bit. First time on TV, so it's uh, always a new experience. It's always good when you start mocking right off well, and it yeah. takes the jitters away, right? <laughs> Definitely. Uh, what are your thoughts on the match? Oh, it was very interesting. All I did is I went up there, cleared my head, found the wave, and I rode it and brought us to good land. Your winning land. Well, it was awesome. Like I said, you didn't really show any jitters. Made a couple of first boxes, you were a little off, but then you just buckled down. And you did a great job. Hey, you want those titles around your waist? I know <laughs> everyone does. So, um, congratulations. Next week, you're facing number two seeds with a roll-off score of 691. Dave Dorman and Nate Lees. I'll see everyone then. <laughs>